Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 27th of September and the time has just gone 11.35 British summer time. Uh, this week's Chart of the Week is the Australian dollar versus the US dollar. And Taking a look at the chart here, we can see that the Aussie dollar has been in a fairly steady decline throughout 2018. Um, it's a classic example of a downward trend, lower lows and lower highs all the way along. In fact, only last week, only earlier, earlier this month, uh, we saw the Aussie dollar fall back to levels not seen since early 2016. So give you an indication of how negative uh, the sentiment has been on the currency pair recently. Uh, if you take a closer look at, at the chart uh, in recent months, we can see that on a few occasions, this blue line here, the 50 moving average, has acted as resistance. Uh, there's been a number of occasions where the currency pair has run into, into that, into that uh, particular metric. It's traded on some occasions uh, slightly above it. Our particular here uh, in in early June, we're trading considerably above it, but then actually only to fall back below it again. And there's been a few occasions recently where it's particularly at a run up towards it, or else just ever so slightly above it, and then actually back down again. So that this this line here is of a, a fairly important significance. It's acted at resistance on a number of occasions recently, therefore it makes it more likely that it's going to act at resistance in the near term. And while we, we remain south of this blue line here, the 50-day moving average, which comes into play at zero spot 72.92. It's likely that the outlook for the currency pair is going to continue to remain negative. Uh, if you take a look at the price action in the past few days, we can see that the market has been has drifted lower. Um, and uh, turning our attention to the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram, we can see that positive momentum is, de is declining. So the decline in the positive momentum confirms the ne the negative move we're seeing in the currency pair itself. And if you do continue to, continue to drift lower from here, we could be looking heading back down towards zero spot 72. And if you go south of that, we could be looking heading back down towards zero spot 7085. And a break below that could bring zero spot zero spot 70 into play. Uh, I'll move to the upside. Um, we need to kind of see, we need to easily um, retake and push above the the 50-day moving average. This this blue line here. If it, if we do manage to have a, a sizable move above the 50-day moving average. The, what, what, what was acting as old resistance could actually become new support. And if we do manage to kind of push on higher from there, the next area to keep an eye for could be this region here, uh, which comes to the play at 0 spot 70, 74, 78, or 0 spot 75. And if we go beyond that, we could be looking heading back up towards uh, the early June high of, sorry, early June high of 0 spot 76, 76. Uh, if you are going to trade the Aussie dollar, please keep in mind that later today uh, we have some foreign economic indicators from the US. Um, we have the GDP, durable goods, uh, jobless claims figures. We also have the uh, trade figures. And the trade figures could actually be probably the most important component potentially uh, of the update. Uh, seeing as there's a trade swap between the US and China, and, and um, if there's further evidence that there's a, a growing uh, imbalance between the trading relationship between the US and China, it could spur on President Trump to actually impose more, more tariffs uh, on Chinese imports. Um, the Chinese economy has been cooling in the last number of years, um, given that it has stellar growth in the, last couple, in the last couple of decades. The Chinese economy is cooling. We're seeing a slowdown in the Australian economy as well. Um, and any, any additional tariffs could actually potentially uh, impact Chinese growth and therefore the Australian growth and therefore the Australian dollar. Uh, we heard from the Federal Reserve last night. They raised interest rates as expected. Uh, traders are pricing in a high probability of a December rate hike, and also traders are expecting the Fed to continue down their path of monetary tightening throughout 2019. So the growth figures, the durable goods figures, and also the, the job claims figures will be of uh, fairly significant importance today. Uh, looking ahead to next week, we have an update from the Reserve Bank of Australia. Uh, we also have Chinese manufacturing and non-manufacturing figures coming out over, over the weekend coming. At the back end of next week, we also have non-farm payrolls from the United States. So these are certain things you got to keep an eye out, keep an eye out for if you are going to be trading the Aussie dollar. Um, if you have any comments on this video or any other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. And that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.